Brett has put himself in that position to be the starter, and he's earned it. And, you know, uh, one, one game's not going to influence that either way. Well, there you have it. Even with his performance, Brett Rippon is still the Broncos' starting quarterback. Rippon threw for 160 yards, competing, completing just 13 of 23 and found the turf four times and gave up a touchdown on an interception. Quarterback transfer Montel Cozart from the University of Kansas showed he is capable of leading the Broncos if Coach Arson wants to replace him over Rip. On two touchdown drives, Cozart was the one who led the Broncos. With that said, Coach Harson could care less what the fans or media think of who should be leading this team under center. Well, I watched the quarterbacks. The only people that matter are the ones in this building that actually watch the film. Uh, I thought Brett played well. You know, the one thing that, you know, unless you want to go back and study the film, uh, quarterbacks get way too much credit. They get way too much blame. I mean, you get a flash of a play and then you blame it on the quarterback. Uh, if you truly understand football and you study it and you watch the position, you see all the other things that go into it, um, you know, Brett did some good things. At the running back position, the Broncos used multiple players in the backfield on Saturday compared to last season when there was just one threat with Jeremy McNichols. It was a trio effort with Alexander Madison leading the group with 82 yards and a touchdown. Ryan Wolpin followed up with 47 yards and Robert Mahone rounded out the group with six yards. The running backs finished with 165 yards, which are around what McNichols did on a regular basis during each game last year. If you ask co -off or excuse me, offense coordinator Zach Hill, he says he likes the balance effort. That's something we're definitely looking at. You know, going into the game, we knew there was going to be a good rotation, and we were going to try to get a lot of those guys, you know, multiple carries. You know, Wolf was was going in as as the guy we were going with, and uh, you know, to start things out, and whether it's be the first half or the second half, and um, you know, mixing in Alex and mixing in. Um, you know, Rob, yeah, I mean, we got to pay attention to who's got the hot hand, too. One more note on the Broncos freshman Avery Williams was named this week's Mountain West Conference Special Teams Player of the Week. Williams' first play of the game was a magical one, running an 81-yard scamper punt return for a touchdown. He finished the day with 124 point, or excuse me, 124 punt return yards, which is sixth most in a single game in Boise State history. Special teams, you know, created some game-changing plays, which was the goal. And Avery Williams was the, the Mountain West Player of the Week, um, rightfully so. First time he touches the ball, he gets a chance to take one to the house. It's pretty awesome.